Hi, my name is Aaron Thomas. Um, I'm from Atlanta. I'm a videographer slash director. I'm Rocker O'Neal. I feel like you're Reeves. My ex bitch from the Middle East. Shout Everything A OK. We for every dawn. We don't show no A's. Down in here like this. And I got a bad little bitch. Everything chrome. Cash. What? In my free time, I love to vlog, but I don't like to be called one. So why should you call me? Do you feel like you've made meaningful connections online? Um, I've built a lot of strong connections within the music industry for at least Atlanta for the time being. It put me in a couple of good positions. I've got to shoot videos with a couple um, cool people and meet a lot of people and learn from all those people as well. Do you feel like you've personally seen relationships or friendships deteriorate due to your online endeavors? We have seen a lot of relationships deteriorate. How so? But um, I don't think it's related to my online experience as much as I've just had a change in the path that I'm going. And some of those people in my life previous to that, me finding that path, don't fit that path. Just don't mesh anymore. It's not a bad thing. People just grow apart sometimes. What social media platforms would you say you're most active on? I'm most active on Instagram. That's it. Why do you think that is? What makes what drew you to Instagram over the others? I think Instagram has made a lot of changes within the last year to make it pretty much the universal social media platform. To where we have stories like Snapchat. We can you can type words on the story just like Twitter. You, I think you can just I think social media is I mean I, I think Instagram is the ultimate social media platform now. Do you feel like it's easy to get engrossed in the digital world? Yes, it's very easy. There's so many different things on the internet and social media that can grab your interest. What would you say life is like as a videographer? Um, it's like any normal person's life, plus the responsibility of you know shooting the videos, editing, directing, getting the videos out, promoting it, working with artists, communicating, all that. What do you like most about making videos? I think I like the editing process the most. Being able to implement my own creativity within someone else's music is pretty cool to me. What made you start making videos? Um, I started out as a photographer and I didn't really enjoy it much. So I just switched to videos and gave it a try and I liked it a lot more. Who would you say your audience is? I think my audience is probably uh, People in my age range, 18 to 21, 22. How would you describe your audience or your followers? I think my audience and followers are um, mainly other photographers, videographers, and artists, whether it's uh, musical artists or like actual, you know, painting artists. I think just artists, creators, content creators. Do you feel like you've gained a loyal following? I think I'm working on it as we speak. I think um, I have. It's not a big following, but eventually it will be big. And I appreciate everyone that's been supporting me so far. Who's that? What do you think? So I'm almost at 100 subscribers. developed an identity separate from that of your true identity or do you feel like your digital identity is pretty in line with who you actually are? I think my digital identity is pretty in line with who I am. I think me, uh, I think social media has given me an outlet to show the creativity that I've always wanted to show and just didn't have maybe the right people behind me to tell me I can do it or it just wasn't a time in life where I felt like I was ready to actually or capable to show it to other people. Look at it from your eyes. 
Everything a okay. We forever young. We don't show no age. Down in here like this. When people think of Aaron Thomas, what do they think of? What are you known for? Well, how are you known? I think when people think of Aaron Thomas slash Ron TZ, I think they think of a very sociable person that also is about his business and can get uh, work done and collab with others and make something that other people will like. Would you consider yourself an influencer? I would consider myself an influencer, most definitely. Uh, yes. What's that like? Uh, it's cool to know that I'm influencing others and inspiring others to chase their dream. But um, I feel like I can be an influencer on a much bigger scale. It will affect people differently and more importantly than just videos. But for the time being, influencing people the way that I do it is fine. Do you feel like within this world you're forced to wear different masks? And how specifically do they change between different media platforms and the ways in which you present yourself? Uh, no, I try to be pretty genuine. So I don't think I need to put on a new mask. I kind of just present myself as who I am. And... Do you make videos for yourself? Or do you make videos for other people? I make videos for other people. So you make videos that you feel like other people will enjoy? Well, I enjoy them as well. Do you feel like an artist is someone who makes art as a form of expression or as a means for pleasing his audience? Or both? I think it can be both. I think you can please the audience while also pleasing yourself. Yeah. Was there ever a time that you made art for yourself? Yes, prior to me making it for other people. <laughs> and what what caused you to shift from making things for yourself to making it for other people? Other people started liking what I was making for myself. Do you ever feel like your endeavors online becomes a bit overwhelming at times? Yeah, it can be overwhelming at some times. I'm still trying to figure out my time management as far as putting priority on certain things, getting things done in a certain timely manner. Do you ever feel like you might want to run away from it at times, take a step back? Yeah, sometimes I have my own self-doubt about my videos, but I have to realize that uh, with every day I get better and I get to a point where I can't doubt myself anymore. I just have to realize that I'm doing what I love and I'm doing it well. How'd you meet your girlfriend there? I met her at a party. That's like the half truth. <laughs> Did you guys meet online? No, we did not meet online. <laughs> My whole life is not online, Michaela. <laughs> whole interview been about Instagram, Kiki. So now I, now I gotta say, yeah, I met my girlfriend through Instagram too. <laughs> but it's kind of true. Mm -mm. So it is true. <laughs> Why'd you answer? Huh? Why'd you answer, Kiki? Is it true, Kiki? It, it kind of is true. All right, that's all I needed to know.